y'all welcome back to my channel it's lexify and today we are doing another pretty little liner video um i see a lot of my subscribers like my pretty liner videos so that's what we're going to do today today we're doing pretty little liner storylines now we're going to talk about some i like and what i liked about them and we're going to talk about ones i really dislike and what i disliked about them because you know pretty liars had a lot of plot holes and stories like where did i come from type of thing so we're going to talk about them okay first off we're going to start with the ones i like now let's start with the first one i wrote down it's mona being in and why she was in i really like that storyline because i feel like mona was the best a she had an actual reason to be an a and i like how they followed the books of me of mona being a or whatever and why she kind of why she did it um how she stayed so hand up from her but also i feel like it was also kind of revenge on how ali was bullying her which i get it because ali was rude but i like how mona was a they didn't suspect her um her a texas was iconic i just like the whole storyline with her being a and i like that how she kind of kept being a throughout the seasons or whatever Next storyline I really like was Azra being A in the suspense. I know technically he was an A. He's writing a book about Arya, which is really nasty because he knew her age, but we're not going to get into that. But I really liked Azra being A because um, how the suspense was building in each episode of these, like the scenes of him being creepy, of him watching the girls, of him and Mona talking. It was like, it was top tier. And when we see him with a black hoodie, like, the suspense was crazy. But I really liked that. I wish they would have kept it like that because, hell, actually being a predator, that could have been, like, kinky. But I really liked that storyline. I wish they would have kept it. I would I wouldn't have mind him being um, Uber A in the last season. Like, that would have fit to me. Because he was always suspicious anyway, so... The flashbacks. I really like the flashback storylines. How we see how the girls used to be before Ali despair. We saw how Ali treated the girls. How she treated other people. And the type of person Ali was. It kind of like. What's it called? It kind of showed why the girls are like this. And how so many people were suspect of being involved with her disappearance. Because she made a lot of enemies in the flashbacks. So yeah. Um, Ali being dead and who did it? I actually like the suspense of, oh, is Ali dead? Is she alive? Who did it? Like, it was so many suspe suspects. Um, and, you know, like I said in the flashback, she was so rude to so many people, so she made so many enemies out of people. So it was, like, really, um, what's it called? Really cool to see, like, is Ali dead? Oh, who bodies in the grave type of thing. So, yeah, I really like that one. Um... Next, I got Hannah in season five. I really like Hannah arc in season five and how she, they did it. How Allie coming back really affected her because Allie was really the rudest to Hannah. How she treated Hannah was really rude. Talking about her weight and and all the stuff. What was going on with Hannah was, you know, we see Hannah kind of change her appearance because everybody, you know, actually thought that Hannah and Allie actually what to go look alike. So we see her struggling to deal with that. We see. Her and Caleb ended up getting into alcohol and they started drinking. So it was really cool to see kind of Hannah go through that and stuff like that. I'm glad she ended up getting better though. Next is the dollhouse storyline. Is it dollhouse? Yeah, dollhouse. <laughs> I really like that storyline how A actually, because A always started with the girls as her dolls. So for her to actually kidnap them was just crazy. Actually kidnap them for like, was it a month or two? I forgot how, many, how long it was gone. But to ha actually have them kidnap and actually put them in a dollhouse with their rooms at the exact replica of their house and all that stuff. And they went through all that. But I like that storyline. It shows like A went really far and A could go that far. So I really like that storyline. I wish they would have kept it like for that half of the season. But unfortunately, they did not. Next is... Oh, seasons, all of season two. I really love season two. One of the best seasons... And show like the girls trying to get in closer to who killed Ellie, who A is, who Ellie was talking to in Brooks Haven. Um, that whole situation with them trying to track um 
um black swan down all that was really good um every episode was really good every episode have us hanging so i really like the whole of season two next is jail storyline i really like the jail storyline of like um of him and ali going to jail and all the liars that i'm getting arrested I don't feel like it showed like like I said, A going so far to have been framed or whatever, which was really crazy. And that was you know, it was, of course it was sad that Ali and Hannah was in prison in jail for a while and they was that young and they didn't even do it. So it really showed that A went that far and was 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 really had a plan all along type of thing. Next is Toby and Caleb teaming up. I really like that duo, Toby and Caleb, because they really hacker Hacker and Toby had knowledge from being a and stuff like that. I really like they teamed up and try to actually find the girls and even in season four trying to find out who Red Coat is. And I like that they actually team up help the girls and actually want to find out who does this to the girls. I like Azure being useless, but we're not gonna get into that. <laughs> Last but not least, on my storyline, I liked it was beginning of CC the beginning of CCB and A. I really like the beginning of CCB and A. I don't like how they actually told her story but like the beginning even though we only knew season was really a because in several seasons we saw her literally in a black hoodie we saw her how shauna and them and jenna kept saying they were scared of cc so we only knew she was a but i kind of like in the beginning she was a but she was like this mysterious person that used to be friends with ali and that we were to call we ended up trying to find out who is this girl what did they do that summer um that summer with Wilden? Like who is she? And stuff like that. I wish they would have just kept like C T B and A because Ali did a severe type of thing, but then they end up made it that trans it was just it was just a whole mess how they end up doing that story. Next is storylines I dislike. Now first I have C and A. Like I said, I don't like the ending of how they end up wrapping the character up, how they try to tell the story. It was just it was just like they were just trying to trying to do some i don't know what but that was just bad barely written next is spencer twin dna the whole thing i dislike i'm pretty sure a lot of people disliked it because it came out of nowhere spencer twin dna spencer having a twin in the first place why she did it it was really stupid the whole finale was really bad okay next is the finale yeah um like i said they i just feel like they just wrapped it up really fast and they didn't know what to do and they were trying to make it be a surprise but they risked it so bad it wasn't even a surprise if y'all see my other a videos y'all know who i thought who i think should have been a which aria or even allison or even Ezra, or even ren or even melissa or even make it mona again like cause that whole thing or even let the other one of the other liars be it like cause that whole finale was badly written badly like it was just bad Okay, next storyline I dislike was season 6B and 7. I really dislike those seasons. 6B and the time jump was just bad with Ellie and all that. It was just so bad. Season 7 was bad. Finale bad. Like, I feel like they were just trying to rush the ending because they, you know, I don't know if they was canceled or they just ended it, but they were just rushing or whatever. I feel like they should have just ended the, um, season 6A. That would have been better. So. Ari and Ezra are very disliked because they had so many scenes together and Ezra knew what age she was. He was really proud of her. He groomed her and um, just how she was, he was, how she didn't know, realize she was groomed and her parents eventually ended up letting it happen, letting it be okay with them dating, which was just bad. He should have went to jail like in the books, but next is Spencer Caleb. I don't know where that came from. Who thought of that but that was nasty it's very disrespectful to toby and hannah i didn't like it they should have never put it together they should have just kept them as friends i don't know why they did that um toby whole character yes i just like toby like i liked the toby in the beginning but i feel like they over the season they start badly written him i like how he always was gone how he ended up becoming a cop how him and spencer i'm always fighting <sighs> it was just too much i don't like it how he ended up being a for a while and then like, the suspense was great for him being A. It just, he did some bad stuff, like locking Spence in the shower. So, yeah, I don't like that. Um, Next is Spencer and 6B, 
season 6B and 7. I don't like Spencer character after this time jump because I feel like she changed. Like she thought she was even more that. I don't like how she was always talking to the girls like Hannah. She was always talking to in a rude way, especially in the last two seasons and how she treated everybody. I just didn't like it. I don't know why they ended up writing her character like that, but it was just bad. Um, how the girls with Simona. I don't like how the girls kept treating Mona bad. After Mona helped them several times. After Mona was gonna go to prison for Hannah Mom. She was always saving them. Like, y'all could've cut her some slack. Y'all yeah, forgave, like, Ezra. Y'all forgave Allison. Y'all forgave all these people. But y'all can't forgive Mona. Um, next, Hannah went through the most. That's the storyline I just like. Because Hannah was one of the strongest characters. And y'all just, every season, kept putting on her through so much. And I felt bad for the girl. Where, like, my next point is Arya went to the least. Arya, all had, the only thing she had to worry about was Ezra. Like, that's the only thing she had to worry about. Yeah. But Hannah went through so much. The stuff of her father, her mom going to jail, her, they being broke. Her going to jail. All the stuff of Caleb leaving. Her getting kidnapped twice. Like, it was just too much. Mm -hmm. Um, plot holes. Yes, I hated the plot holes. Like, they would start a storyline and then end it and we never get an answer for that. Or they'll show something, we'll never get an answer for that. It was just so many inconsistencies I didn't like, so. Last but not least, Sarah Ho character. I don't know why they introduced Sarah Ho character. It was just pointless. I don't know why she didn't be in red code. She had no reason to, like, you know, no reason to dislike these girls. So, I feel like... I feel like they didn't know who to put as red code, so the writer just put Sarah. Like, that was just, like I said, fast writing. Like, she don't care no more. She was just trying to wrap the show up type of thing. So, I didn't like that. Anyway, <laughs> put down any storylines y'all like or dislike in the comments below and why y'all like or dislike them. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Let's get to 200 subs and like the video. Bye.